Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Appreciate you guys stopping by and checking us out today. A uh, little warning, today's video <laughs> may be a trapping video, I'm not quite sure. Uh, it's going to be an attempt at a trapping video. We're going to go back here and check the quail, because yesterday I checked the quail, and there's a little story to this. We checked the quail yesterday, and the ones I took out a couple weeks ago, the little small ones we put in the pen, we had about 38 birds and now we only have six. Uh, I found a big hole. Oops. I found a big hole in the side of the pen, so I'm not sure if something got in the pen and ate the quail, or if they just got out. Because last week we had uh, two bulldogs come down in my yard and uh, killed three of my chickens, five of my quail that we found, and. This little pen right here uh, had a big hole chewed in the side. I'll take y'all down there and show y'all. Had a huge hole chewed in the side. Uh, the dogs actually belong to my neighbor, a super nice guy. And we actually, I talked to him about it. I run the dogs off uh, <laughs> with deer rifle. I scared them all off <laughs> and talked to my neighbor about it and had a long talk with him and thank God that my turkeys weren't out because male and the rest of the turkeys, they would have killed them if they're two huge pit bulls. And they just got down here and tore my pins up. Uh, they tore, we had this, we were using it as a little windbreak along the side. And they got down here and just tore this up. They tore, I wired this all back together, but they, they just tore a huge uh, hole in the side and just went crazy down here. They tried to get in this big pin, uh, with the turkeys and chickens, thank God they were they were they were up, not in the doors. We hadn't let them out yet, but uh, Mel, he must have got hurt in in, in the big pen because he had. <laughs> if you can look on on this side of him, I can get him to turn around. He still got a little blood spot right there on his wing, where apparently he ran into something in the pen, but I, I'm not sure what it was. But but uh, he had hurt himself. But he did, he's fine now. Uh, he never even showed any signs of being hurt. But but these pins, they were fine. But anyway, I, I don't want to throw off on my neighbor because he's a super cool guy. Uh, his dogs just happened to got out. And we got all that squared away. And actually, the dogs are gone now. Uh, but in this pen, this is where the, the, the quail that we were going to raise <laughs> to eat. We were going to raise these to eat. I got one, two, three four, five, six left, and I had 38 birds in here. But last night I came down and I actually found, well, I actually found, I sort of wired it back right here, but this was open, way open. And I'm not sure if the dogs had done that, or I need to get another screw and I need to screw all this back down. I'm not sure if the dogs have done it and our birds have just escaped or what, but uh, I'm gonna set out some more traps and just to see, uh, we sort of quit trapping for a few weeks because we've caught six possums and one raccoon. And I thought that was a pretty good, uh, <laughs> pretty good let a little little control uh, we did out here. We caught the heck out of them for about <laughs> a week or two, and then we stopped uh, because I thought that was a pretty good bit of little little varmints out here to catch. So we're going to fire these traps up one more time just to be on the safe side because that's a lot of birds to be missing. That is a lot of birds, and I'm sure, I think they may have got out. But I'm going to set a trap right here along the edge, just to be on the safe side. I'm going to trap at the corner of the fence where I always trap, and then I got one way down there. And we'll just do a little double check, and I'll add this to this video. I'll check them tomorrow, see if we got anything, just to sort of give you all an update of what's going on. But um, one thing, if you, rate, if you use these little outside pins like this, you have to have them buckled down. I mean, of course, I didn't know a pit bull, you know, much less two pit bulls were going to come down here and get after my birds. I'm going to feed these guys just for the heck out of it. Look at them. <laughs> They're all waiting to be fed. I'll feed these guys, and then we're going to set some traps. I know I got a little off track, but this this right here, we have hard wire cloth around this. So this is the way to go. We And I've always heard if you got chicken wire, be ready, because raccoons, they will get through it. But uh, we usually do some uh, predator control, you know. Most of the year anyway, but but uh, we hadn't had that problem before. 
see i got a little spot right here it's opened up but they got down here and they were just pulling and chewing on everything you can see where they come down here and they had started ripping on this this is not from the weather because they just we got it cleaned up like i say it was last week there was stuff everywhere dead birds everywhere it was it was horrible but let me feed these chickens real quick we'll set some traps tomorrow's video we'll do some <laughs> We'll, we'll do some checking out uh, the traps and see if we got anything. Let me give these guys something to eat. <laughs> Look how big this guy is. I'm telling you, this is one big turkey. <laughs> Are you hungry, buddy? <laughs> one more thing I meant to mention is I'm just, instead of uh, eating these, just these little old six birds, I think I'm gonna mix them in. These are the mom and daddies. I don't know if that matters much, but I'm gonna mix these back in with the brothers and sisters in this pen here. I'm just gonna add them with these and we'll use those uh, lucky six <laughs> to be uh, egg layers for next year. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna move these six in with these down here. Okay guys, the first trap we're gonna set is right here on this corner. And it's just a perfect spot. You got all these woods that these little uh, raccoons and possums come from. This fence runs way down the other end of the property. And it's this, I don't know what you call it, goat fence or whatever, but uh, they can't get through that. And this is just some wire. And so they always seem to come, there used to be a trail right here when we first moved here. So this is just a great spot uh, to grab a quick possum or raccoon. This is basically where we caught most of our possums this year. Okay, we'll go set trap number two. And for you guys that are new to my channel, we trap a lot <laughs> on this uh, on our little farm. For the fact we have so many birds that we free range, um, and not all of them go up at night. A lot of them love to stay up in these trees. And uh, a possum or raccoon, that's just easy bait for a possum raccoon. And I feel like it's my job uh, as the guardian of our flock <laughs> to protect our birds. And to me, a possum and a raccoon, uh, everybody sees things differently. It's, it's awesome. That's what makes us great. Uh, I see possums and raccoons as a big giant rat that lives in the woods. I have no use for them. I don't hunt them. Uh, to me, they're just something that's going to eat my birds. And I protect my birds at all costs <laughs> and i know i'm gonna hear some flack about it but i don't care i don't like possums and raccoons i love my birds anyway <laughs> if you're also new to my channel one of the perfect baits to trap possum and raccoons uh, we found is dog food we just use dog, uh, some dry dog food and we save our bacon grease i don't know anything that don't like bacon grease or bacon <laughs> we use bacon grease and dog food and it, it just works great uh if we have we're going to set this one right beside the quail pen that i think the bird uh the possums and stuff were getting in like i say i'm not absolutely sure it was possums getting in this is just to sort of make sure you know to sort of make myself feel a little better uh it could have been they were just getting out and i we haven't seen any running around last time uh, somebody left the door open we had birds we were able to catch them they were all they all stayed around the pen so like i say i'm not sure if they got out i think if they would have got out we may have seen them uh but i'm gonna set this trap man what you doing buddy <laughs> i'm gonna set this trap right beside this quail pen it's empty quail pen now 
But if he's pilfering around these quail pens, I think this will be an easy catch. Now this next this next trap is our uh, it's a, called a coon cuff. I absolutely love these traps. Uh, there's a chance <laughs> we may catch a chicken in that one trap that's closest to the chicken pen. I have caught chickens in there before, but but we always check it right before we uh, close the chickens up at night. And if we got one in there, we'll let it out. But uh, I think they're pretty hip to it by now. But <laughs> um, there's a chance we may catch one in here. But with these coon cuffs, you don't catch nothing but a raccoon and a possum. Uh, the thing about these traps is they have to have little hands to reach in there and at, and pull the trigger. It's not a, it's not a, a plate or a push type trap uh, with a trigger system like that. It's a, it's a pull. They have to actually they have to actually get down inside there and there's a trigger in, at the very bottom that they have to pull and it'll close in on their arm and it'll and it'll catch them that way. They're just a, a great efficient trap. I absolutely love them. You can't catch a dog or a cat. Uh, anything but a possum or raccoon, that's, that's all you can catch with them. They're perfect little traps. It's called a, um, a nickname's a coon cuff, dog proof trap. Uh, you can get them from Duke Traps or um, Victor. I think Victor makes them, Victor Traps. So just, just a great trap. All right, well, guys, that's about it. I'll let you know here in just a minute if we caught anything. It'll be the next day for me. Uh, <laughs> we'll add it on here. See if we catch anything tomorrow. Uh, like I say, this is just a preventative thing to see if there are possums or raccoons out here getting in my pen. I know I, the day before I had 30 some odd birds in there. And then last night I come to feed and water everything and close everything down. And there was only six. And I found that hole in the bottom. I'm not positive it's a possum or a raccoon. Uh, but I always assume it's one of the two. Could have been the pit bulls that come up here. Uh, we checked every pen real thorough. We could have missed something, of course, but uh, we're going to double check. Like I say, uh, it doesn't hurt to put out some traps and just see if we got anything out here roaming around. But uh, stay tuned. <laughs> we'll see if we have anything here in just a second. All right, everybody. It is the next day. We'll go out here and see what we got in these traps, if we got anything. i be honest, I hope I don't have anything. Look at how foggy it is out here. It's really creepy. Really pretty though. Really, really foggy. <laughs> I just woke up. I jumped up real quick, throw my clothes on. Get up and let some of these birds out. And see, we got a bunch of birds that don't put up. Like these guys here and, the, and these two turkeys. Now they like to sleep up on the roof. They jump up here on the roof and sleep. But we got a bunch that stay in, so. <laughs> Let me give these guys some food really, really quick. What do you think, buddy? <laughs> Sorry about throwing the camera all around. <laughs> Let me run through real quick and check these traps. Now this one don't have anything, so that's good. And like I say, I'm hoping it was just the, the, the pit bulls that had done that. Maybe the birds got out. And I'm thinking maybe that's what it was, but I just want to be on the safe side. Trap number two is empty as well. That one's empty as well. All right. Look at the wood. Isn't it pretty with all that fog? Really pretty. <laughs> all right. I'm going to run down here and check trap number three. It's a little further away. All right, everybody, we were just right over the other side of those trees where the chicken pen is at. And so we're just right down the hill here. And we don't have a thing. We don't have a thing. Actually, I don't know. We had a bite. I think he may have got full <laughs> before he reached the bottom. 
maybe he got full before he reached the bottom because that that bait is gone all the way to the bottom i'm thinking maybe he got full before he reached the bottom but hey at least i ain't got a fool with one this morning but guys i appreciate the heck out of y'all watching my videos i really do i really do uh if you're not a subscriber to my channel of course hit that subscribe button i'd really appreciate it we'll keep you posted what's going on i think it may have been just the dog uh i'm hoping but i'm pretty sure it may have been just the dog and that might have been a hole we missed and i guess i lost all my birds i'm sure that other things probably ate them the last time uh, they got out we were finding them everywhere we picked them all up and put them back in i think we had ended up missing just a couple but, but not sure uh, <laughs> we can't find any so but anyway i'll keep you guys posted let you know if we happen to find any more uh, but i don't think we're going to we just mix those in with the others but guys appreciate it uh, if you're not a subscriber to my channel, like I say again, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, guys. We really appreciate it. Uh, we'll see you on the next video.